Hello everyone, welcome along to day four of the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. And after yesterday's tumultuous day, teams have battened down the hatches as they set out for what could be another blustery day on the roads. A quick recap of the leaders and Nuna 7 passed through Cooper PD early this morning, followed closely by Team Tokai in what promises to be a tight tussle between these two teams. The mind games will continue and it's worth noting from this same position in the last challenge, Team Tokai were able to snare victory from their Dutch opponents. In the Michelin Cruiser class, all the teams got away nicely, departing Alice Springs at 7am. And in the GoPro Adventure class, Aurora Evolution were the first to get away this morning at 8 o'clock, and Hikari were right behind them, followed by the rest of the field. Being out in the tough elements all week, the crews have definitely made the Australian outback their home, and for as much time as they've spent out on the road, they've spent just as much time making a new connection with the land Tracy Kotsia found out. Over the past few days, teams from all over the world have been making the Australian outback their home, passing some incredible scenery as they journey south to Adelaide. I love it. We had a blast on the outback. I mean, it's beautiful out here and the nights are amazing. So, um, yeah, we're, we're loving it so far. It's okay. astonishing. Driving towards the horizon, just, you can just see the, see the road far. It's, it's, it's amazing. We think it's, it's really unbelievable because we, we're from the Netherlands, of course, and then you there, have, uh, everything is really close, close distance, everything is green, and then you come here, the distances are vast, and you have to travel 500 kilometers a day, and you would travel twice to the Netherlands if you did 500 kilometers a day. So it's really um, a lot of sand, we're not used to that, a lot of heat. Uh, really great to, to be camping in, uh, in the Outback too. Also, to be self-sustainable with your own truck and the, and the bus, have your own food, have your own drinks. Uh, we've seen kangaroos jumping around, a lot of cows off to the side of the road, and uh, we haven't hit anything, fortunately. Our cars may be tougher than some of the others, so if we do hit something, maybe it's a little safer. Did you drive through the Devil's Marbles today? What did you think of that? Yeah, it was amazing when you see the top of the mountains and you drive passing through it, it was really nice. Just when you, you drove past the, the mountain, and you poof, saw the devil's marbles, and poof, they were away. It was really cool to see. Now, one of the great stories so far from the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge has been the performance of the University of West Sydney. Now, they've taken on the tough Challenger class. Currently, they're sitting in last place, but we need to understand this has been a phenomenal performance considering they are on debut and they've been turning heads all the way along the Stewart Highway. Before they left and started that epic journey from Darwin, we had the chance to catch up with them. Despite not having the size of budget or sponsorship backing that has powered many of the other teams, the University of Western Sydney has proven that a good team spirit and passion for a project can have just as big an impact on this challenge. Well, we've been building and designing the car for nearly three years now. Um, we started building about uh, February this year. It's been a long hours. Um, everyone's put a huge amount of time and effort into it and uh, we're here to race. These are the main controls the driver needs. Uh, obviously a steering wheel for uh, steering. Um, we've got the throttle uh, just on a, on a tab here. Uh, this is actually our gear stick, so uh, drive, neutral or reverse. Uh, this is our cruise control switch, so on and off. Uh, and this is eco mode or sports mode. Because it's an electric vehicle, we can use our motor to act as a brake. So I've also got a brake here. And what that does is it takes the, uh, the energy from us moving and puts the energy back into the batteries. It's clear that the team has put a phenomenal amount of effort into creating the vehicle that will be taking part in the challenge. We wanted to know what it was that was driving them towards this goal. It's uh, an experience which is unlike anything else because it's given us uh, the ability to be competitive, to explore and also just to have a lot of fun in a team environment whilst travelling traveling the outback. Even if we don't win, uh, we've demonstrated that we are a team of, of doers rather than just thinkers. You're still smiling, that's great. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it, it's, it's been challenging, but it's, it's fun. And, and here at UWS, we don't like to be you know, stiff or hoity-toity about it. We just want to have fun, and, and we make sure we do. <laughs> Let's take a look at the all-important weather. 
And the forecast tells us the hot and windy conditions will continue for the day, but with an increased chance of cloud cover and possible rain ahead, tactics and strategy will be even more important as teams get closer to Adelaide and that finish line. So don't forget to join us this evening as we bring you all the action from the road and what promises to be another eventful day at the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. Thanks for watching.